right, the hard work has been done. We cut a hole in the house. We assembled all our pieces together. Let me tell you what we're doing here. We've got a number 10 gauge underground feeder cable and a number 8 gauge ground wire attached to our pole where we're going to put our array. We dug a trench to our battery box and in that box we have these two wires and I have to connect this ground wire to our grounding rod. This is our 10 gauge underground feeder cable that's attached to the pole and our grounding rod that we're just feeding right through the box and going straight up into the house. These are our two battery cables, number four, and the one we brought to a 30 amp fuse. Okay, we just attach the plate to the box and then the leg we went to the positive of the battery and then we simply took the negative and went to the negative terminal this again gets fed into the house all of these wires go up to sweep and into our L I took caulk and I filled the hole so that no bugs could get into uh, the house through this and I also caulked around the hole entering the house. If you've never cut conduit before, I have my L here and my sweeping 90 down here and you want to measure from the base of the L to the base of the sweep and you're about roughly 44 and a half inches. Just mark your 44 and a half. using some PVC cutters. Put your mark in the center of that groove. Just ratchet down and it'll cut the pipe. You want to attach everything with glue and let it dry. I find that it really helps to feed the wire through in sections and then glue it together. Don't try to glue it all together and then run your wire through it. That's much harder. Through the sweep and then through the pipe and then glue the sweep and the pipe together. Much easier than having the whole thing glued together in one shot. Outside. This is the grounding uh, wire that goes up the pole to ground the array, attaches to the grounding rod, feeds through the box, and, and comes through the wall. And we're going to ground it directly to our inverter. All right. These are the charging wires that come from our array, also down that pole, and connect to our controller. And they go into where you see the array picture right here. And these are our two battery cables, and they go to a bus right here. Now, you've got a plus and a negative terminal that we also attach our wires straight to our inverter. And they get plugged in right here. Now we still have to get some crimps right here for our connectors, but we have two number eight wires that are also going to go to these lugs. And these are going to be our charging wires to the battery. They're going to feed back out. So 
so it's going to be attached just like that. That's what it's going to look like. Okay. Now, that's the whole system wired up. Let me show you a little exciting part about this. Say it's been cloudy for a little while and the array hasn't been, had a chance to charge up our battery. You can put your battery charger right next to it. Plug it into the house and just go straight to the lugs here and charge your battery instead of having to go outside and do it in the, in the cooler. The only thing we have to do now is when the array comes in, I'll show you how to build a platform for the array and wire the array to the number 12 gauge wires and to that grounding uh, wire. As a test to show you what's happening here, we have a lamp plugged in to our inverter, which is connected to the battery. And we're going to change the voltage from the battery of 12 volts to 120 alternating current. And just switch it on. There's no buzzing. There's no, no problem whatsoever. It works.